hello guys and welcome to my channel i really appreciate you guys being here what i did in this video is basically frequency separation you can go check out my other videos for the full edit of this image thank you for joining my channel please don't forget to subscribe okay let's get into business okay here in camera roll i want to um make some minor adjustments with the exposures and highlights and shadows and black i know you get the idea just do your minor adjustments and then when you're done open the image so it's loading once it's open we'll start up with the editing so here it is um first of all i want to crop my um, image because i normally crop them for instagram so i'm going to crop it for instagram so if i'm done i will hit ok and it crops Okay, I'm done with my cropping. Basically, what I want to do now is uh, I want to do the uh, frequency separation because I I can see on her face, I mean there are no blemishes. You can see, it. so I want to go straight and do my frequency separation. Her face is um, kind of flawless, <laughs> should I say? Just um, a little touch up on her face, but the the work is really in her body. So I'm going to run the 16 bit um, frequency separation using the Retouching Academy panel. Set my radius to normal. And then it loads i am using the default radius actually so i'm zooming in i'm using the mixer brush too and my setting is one percent wetness 20 20 20 load mix and flow 20. so make sure that you check the sample all layers there so um i want to show you guys something um because when you're working with um, a very high wetness it doesn't really seem nice in the image it spills high wetness tends to spill and the on the image so i'm going to show you guys how um it affects your image i have this um the um these are character of name my layers so i'm going to pull it um up to 100 you see it tends to spill over because the wetness is high so what i do is um i like working with a one percent wetness so one percent wetness is okay for me like like i said before is depends on what works for you so whatever thing that works for you do it so to start off i just have to you know uncheck the eyeball layer on the high texture just to make sure that um i'm seeing my edit so i'll start um brushing over her face with the mixer brush and make sure you don't brush from the shadows to the highlights or from the highlights to the shadows and make sure that sample all layer is checked if you are working if you're going to be working on, on an empty layer you have to sample all layers so you just have to mix okay make sure you mix mix with precision you get the idea so when you mix just um be careful um so you don't spill um the, the colors from the um highlights into the shadows or from the mid-tone into the highlights just you know pattern everything the way her face is positioned my stroke okay my stroke is um actually um, in accordance with the face the shape of her face so you can see how i'm doing it with the mixer brush and you know when you get to a um a narrow place you just have to zoom in zoom into her face and then you you see what you're doing and when you get to a narrow place also you can actually reduce the size of your brush so you can you know mix um very well so just keep on mixing keep on mixing and um like i said i have this um attitude of naming my layers um separately like i'm working on the face now and i just had to name that place face that layer face um when i'm working on another layer i also name it um according to the layer i'm working on so it all depends on how you you know you want to arrange your workflow that's how i decided to arrange my own workflow so we all have our way of um doing um things but i guess whatever works for you you just have to stick with it and do it there are so many ways to do one thing in photoshop that's one thing that is sure so everybody cannot do the same thing because we are different individuals so I'm still on the mixer brush. Remember my my settings are one percent, 
witness 2020 24 the load mix and um flow respectively and i have that sample or layer checked so i just created another layer to work on my on the body on the model's body as you can see the body is more it's not really um like the the colors are not blended but we're gonna fix that we're gonna fix that i just want to first of all do um the mixing then um when i'm done with the mixing i work with the clone stamp to to you know remove some certain um should i say body um blemishes on her body on the high texture layer i'm gonna do that on the high texture layer but right now i'm i'm trying to blend the colors with the brush so now i'm using the mixer brush when i create another layer i'm going to be using the regular brush okay so you just watch and see how i do it I'm still using the mixer brush for now but i'm going to switch to the normal brush very soon so you guys see how i blend the image but right now i'm just trying to mix and don't mix her color bones and all those places you know you just have to mix slightly make your brush narrow and then mix slightly you don't have to you know cover it up so you don't look so the image doesn't look um so unnatural okay so just take your time and do the edit yourself you know this is um for the purpose of the tutorial and i'm really doing a nice edit um even um in as much as it is a tutorial so just take your time when you're mixing take your time and mix the reason I'm trying to do all these things is just because I want to work um, non-destructively just in case I make a mistake in one layer instead of I delete all the frequency separation layer what I just have to do is delete that single layer that I made a mistake in so I think it's a, um, a way of working non-destructively so you guys should um, try and adapt to that okay so I want to work on um, I want to work on that um, body blemish so I'll still um, create another layer and name it um body two then i'm going to use the normal brush now to um, work on this um layer i'm going to use the normal brush so that's a normal brush then my flow is one percent i'm using the one percent flow hundred percent opacity so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a sample of the body you see the foreground color has changed to a kind of um brownish color so that's um the eyedropper to keep it at five um five by five five by five is okay so just your yeah, um, after you're done go back to your brush too go back to your brush too that's the eyedropper too i'm taking a sample then go back to your brush to press alternate to take a sample and then brush using the regular brush not the mixer brush this time around brush using the regular brush like i said um this video is divided into um different parts um for the purpose of this video what i did only is just the frequency separation um the next video um i'm going to upload i actually um did um liquefy liquefy and then i did um i maxed out the background to bring in more white to it so that's what i did so just keep on mixing I'm using the regular brush like I said I'm working with the regular brush so I just want to mix the whole thing so that the image looks real so just mix um make sure you're mixing very well um take um cognizance of the places that you're mixing the highlights and the shadows and you know all her color bones and other things don't just you know flatten it okay when you're done you turn off and see if you're you're making progress that's the before and the after so I still have to you know do some couple of things here because I can see so the face I just want to touch down um, some things just want to um, mix some places very well in the face so you get the idea you know when you're mixing you know you want sometimes you zoom out and then pause a bit you know we see um some certain places you just have to you know still correct or work on so that's the main reason you zoom in and out sometimes to make sure that everything is properly mixed 
but i'm using the um, regular brush tool here the normal brush tool with still one percent flow and um, opacity one percent flow and a hundred percent opacity you get the idea just mix you just have to narrow down the size of your brush or um, more you're getting to a more narrower place So I want to do the hair, you know, add um, a bit um tone to the hair. So um I still I'm still using the regular brush too, the normal brush too, not the mixer brush. So you can see the before and the after how it's looking. Now I want to um fix um the body because I can see there are some you know um. um blemishes on her body so i'm going to work on the high texture layer with the clone stamp too so what i'm basically doing here is um i'm alternate clicking to take a sample from a place from the part of the body that has no blemish and then click it and drag it um onto the place that has blemish so i'm zoomed in now you see i'm clicking and then dragging alternate click to take a sample and then um drag it on on that blemish um it's a trademark so you have to remove it because um when you're retouching you don't have to leave um anything that um looks like a blemish on the body of your model or subject so that's what i'm doing i'm using the clone stamp to to work on the high texture layer probably um i think working on the high texture layer with the clone stamp to gives um a very good result overall so i'm almost done with this edit you can see the before and the after i want to do my dodge and burn and that's the way i normally do my dodge and burn i don't know it's personal to me um some of you might approve of it some of you might not but i think it works for me i duplicate the dodge layer severally and then duplicate the burn layer severally just to make sure that i'm working non-destructively just in case if i make a mistake i just have to you know delete that particular layer and i make the size of my brush um big a bit um then flow 100 opacity 100 and then i go to the place i want to dodge and burn and then um i'm doing the dodge first so i make the size of brush bigger and paint across the face just paint across the face with 100% flow and opacity. I turned off my frequency, turned off my frequency separation layer, just to see the places that um, the light fell before I mixed it. So flow 100%, then paint, then um, go to another layer, then touch it down. As you can see, <laughs> you think it's not really looking nice, but don't worry. You will see the result of it when I'm done with this edit. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm basically adding um, light to the place that um, that the light fell. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. I'm using the Gaussian blow. Then I increase my radius up to a point that the blow seems to fade away. The point that the blow seems to fade away. You can just try different radius. Um, depending on what um, works best then I hit OK when I'm satisfied with the blur amount that I I want then go to the next layer do the same thing cash and blur I just um, keep on doing it um, um, on the layers I actually applied the dodge and burn effect gosh and blur so one thing about this um, if when you're not okay with the result you can always um, decrease the opacity then this is the bone I I'm gonna blow Gaussian blow filter blow Gaussian blow so I blow down the effect so I will still go and turn on my frequency separation layer so you guys um, can see Frequency separation layer turned off, then turn off this uh, check layer so you can see how it is. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, it's a very fast way to dodge and burn your image without stress. That's the before and after. If you think you're not okay, you can open up the group and then 
decrease the opacity of whatever places you want to decrease the opacity just decrease it a bit until you are satisfied with the result i think that's for me is a very fast way to you know dodge and burn my image because dodge and burn i creates um it helps shape the face of the image so i'm basically done with the editing so you can see it's um a nice edit after all um please um do subscribe to my channel and um click the like button if you love this retouching video um i'll see you on the next one because i'm actually working on the next version of this video